Hi guys, it's Tanya. So I'm currently in Ithaca, New York, which is upstate from New York City. And I'm standing in front of Trip Hammer Falls, which is, as far as I know, the largest gorge and waterfall on the Cornell campus. And people say that Ithaca is gorgeous because there's so many gorges in this area and it's actually really beautiful. I was sort of on the fence about doing an Ithaca video because I come to Ithaca for my work and if something doesn't go right along the way, it can really condense the time I have to get things done. And more often than not, it seems that something does go wrong and my time gets limited and I end up being under a lot of stress and anxiety. And so I've sort of associated Ithaca with the stress and anxiety that I have of trying to get things done and not having control over things going wrong. Yeah, but it's actually a very beautiful place and worth visiting. So I don't want my stress to detract you from experiencing what Ithaca has to offer. So let's get to it. You can see how calm the water is right before you go over the edge into that big gorge I was just at a second ago. It's amazing how abrupt it would come on you. If those white, white um, border there wasn't there, you would be pretty screwed. And they have canoes over here too. So somebody canoes and relies on those borders to prevent them from going over the edge. I don't know that I would canoe just right here because it seems a little, little dangerous. trail around Falls Creek Gorge, which is the big gorge around Cornell campus. Behind me right now is Rocky Falls and on the other side of this bridge it's the drop for Forest Falls and there's just a whole series of falls along this gorge. This is definitely the scariest bridge I've been on. When people walk on it you can feel it swaying which is not what I like to feel when I'm on a bridge. Whoa! You probably can't see it in the video but it's like moving right now. Far over there is uh, Trip Hammer Falls where we started, then we just saw uh, Forest Falls and then Ithaca Falls. Hi guys, so right now I'm in Lakeview Cemetery here in Ithaca and it's the final resting place of Carl Sagan. Carl Sagan is famous for a number of things, for his work in astronomy, he's famous for his work with um, searching for extraterrestrial life, aliens. He was one of the proponents for SETI, S-E-T-I, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, which is something that was featured in the movie Contact and is a real thing and I think super cool. He did a lot of work also educating the public about science and astronomy and getting them really excited about those subjects. I think that fields of science and engineering can be very intimidating. I had a particularly bad day today in the lab where I needed to do something and I couldn't figure out how to do it. I reached a point where I just didn't know what to do. 
it was something I had seen someone do before, so in theory I should be able to do it, but the details of it just were so many that I just couldn't have figured it all out from that one time seeing someone do it. And so for me, I had a moment that I get once in a while in this work where I just feel stupid, I feel hopeless, and it can be a really terrible feeling. And I think it's a feeling you can get when you're trying to explore something complicated, and it can be very frustrating. I think that's one of the reasons why people don't get excited about science. It can be complicated, it can be hard to understand, and that feeling is not very good, and it can make you just want to throw up your hands and say forget this. So Carl Sagan is such an amazing person because he had the ability to communicate things about science and about astronomy in a way where people could understand and thus get really excited about it. So that's one of the main reasons why I think Carl Sagan was such a one-of-a-kind person, is such an inspiration and why if you're ever in Ithaca it might be worthwhile visiting his grave. Ithaca Falls, which you can see the drop there, but you can't see the falls. Got a <laughs> but um, <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. Ski.